Good morning, y'all. My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. My house is a disaster because I was actually cleaning up this morning and I'm doing like a deep clean. I'm kind of cleaning out my closet and this morning I'm going to run to Chick-fil-A, get something for Ryan and then take a lot of stuff to Goodwill. I tried selling it at Uptown Cheapskate one time and I actually got a good amount and then last night my friends kind of went through my car and took some stuff so now I'm just kind of over it. I just want it out of my sight because I have so many trash bags in the back of my freaking car. So I think I'm going to just take it all to Goodwill, but then there's some stuff that I wanted to send my mom starting off the day here with a little bit of mess in the background. If you guys didn't watch my other vlog about getting the new lens, you wouldn't know, but I have like a new vlogging setup that I'm trying to just incorporate more. I'm filming on my Sony a7 III with a Tamron 17mm to 28mm 2.8. I'll have that link down below if you guys are interested in just like learning more about this lens and my vlog setup But it is really heavy So you'll probably notice me like switching off arms every time I'm talking because I talk for a really long time and so It's gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna head over to chick-fil-a I'm not gonna get anything because I want to show you guys my avocado toast recipe It is bomb and I have been meaning to show you guys and I literally have like two pieces of sourdough bread left So I was like I this is the vlog it has to happen today. So we're gonna do it You didn't look good. It's a prank. I know it. I'm back home got Ryan chick-fil-a went to Walmart to get my mom's box for the clothes I want to send her and then I also got my packages So I thought I would open one of them right now because I feel like y'all will be very interested in this If you guys haven't watched my vlogs before I am just like randomly obsessed with like anything kitchen related like I love like kitchen appliances and like little cute kitchen gadgets. And I'm also weirdly obsessed with like glassware. So I saw these on JC Marie's vlogs, which I'm obsessed with her vlogs, but these are just like beer can glasses. I think that's what they're called. And they are so freaking cute. Something about the little lip is just so cute. What do you think? You like them? So I think I'm gonna use it for like my matcha. I got four for under $20. So I feel like that's a really good deal. I usually look at like CB2 Crate and Barrel for their glassware and one of them is like $8, which is kind of insane. So I rarely get four of the same ones, but I do have other cute glassware I'll show you. Let's do a little glassware show and tell. Okay, so this is the infamous wine glass that I feel like everyone freaking has. There's one on Amazon that's really popular, but it looks to be a little bit thicker and just not as, I'm so sorry for all this. I think there's like a trash can man outside and like all of our windows are open because the AC broke, so beautiful. I can't remember where all these are from, so I'll definitely have the links down below, but this is one of my favorites, but it just doesn't get used because I don't really drink alcohol, so I'll Ask me why I bought these freaking glasses. I don't know, but they were so cool. All right, this one is up next. It is so cute. It's like a little coupe glass, but it just has like this really cool like indent. I don't even know what to call it. So this would also be a cute for a cocktail, but I don't really drink that much. So I honestly want to just start like a cute little series on my IGTV with like mocktails. Wouldn't that be so cute? Cause like, I know not everyone drinks and for me, I, you know, it's fun to drink with my friends, but I don't like to drink just to have one drink because like, I feel like if I'm going to drink, might as well get a little tipsy and like have a reason to be tipsy. Just, I don't know if this makes sense and I don't know if it sounds bad, but I'm just being honest. Like I don't, I don't like the taste enough to just like be there just sipping it like enjoying it kind of so maybe I just need to find my drink of choice which I like mojitos I really do so that would probably be my first choice if I'm going to a restaurant but drinks out are just so expensive what is this this the beer glass thing came with this Ryan do you know what this is for something for beer goes in a liquor bottle that's cute could be useful sweet okay well um oh and then i forgot to show you guys this one this is the mini and i have a bigger one that i use just for like pouring water into my plants but this one is a smaller version and it's just this cute little beaker this would be super cute for just like filling it up with like even sangria i did that once and it looked so aesthetically pleasing so this is my glassware. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was kind of random, <laughs> but I am going to finish cleaning up my closet, especially, um, I didn't go to Goodwill yet because 
it was kind of out of the way and I didn't want Ryan's food to get cold. But, oh my gosh, let me tell you guys a really cool thing that happened. Okay, so I swear I've been wanting to work with Princess Polly for forever and like I have reached out to them a couple of times and um, they're a really, you know, popular company to work with. Like you probably know like all your favorite YouTubers have probably done hauls with them. And I finally freaking received an email from them and I was shook. I was like, what in the heck? Like, this is it. I'm just so excited. So I'm gonna be doing a haul with them and I got the package today. So I'm trying to think if I should film it today or just like wait a little bit because I have like a little bit too much content to edit right now and like post. So I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit um, to film just so I won't get a little crazy in the head because I have a lot of photos to edit for my photography freelance stuff um, because I did like holiday minis and I'm doing actually three more dates for holiday minis. So if you guys are in Austin and are wanting family photos, couple photos, you can make this session anything you want. So if it's like maternity, newborn, whatever. Um, so check out the info. I will link my Instagram post with all the info so you guys can um, check that out if you guys are in the area. I'm done with my makeup and I cut my hair this week. Did a big, huge chop. My freaking hair was like a little too long. It was a little too crazy. So I decided to do a chop and I love it. I got it colored too. You can't really tell because she toned it a little bit darker, but it's gonna fade and she did some money pieces again, which is like the pieces in front. And so if you guys are interested in exactly what she did, um, I'll have that link down below because I just posted a vlog probably. I mean, I just filmed it technically today, but, but by the time you see this video, it'll already be posted. And um, I asked her a bunch of like random questions, like myth busting kind of things about dyeing your hair, bleaching your hair and stuff like that. And I feel like there's a lot of helpful information, but I am actually starving. I wanted to try to wait till 12 just to try to do like intermittent fasting, but it's 10.50 and I am grumbling in my stomach. So I'm gonna teach y'all how to make my avocado toast today. Basically, I got inspired because I went to Two Hands, which is a breakfast spot. They actually serve dinner too, but I went for brunch and I got an avocado toast and it was honestly just so different. They had like ricotta cheese and goat cheese and I was like, what? All this on an avocado toast? It's so weird, but it was so good. So I kind of just made it my own and took like a few of the ingredients and just kind of did something similar. Obviously we have to start with sourdough bread. I got mine from Trader Joe's and since it's so long, I'm gonna just cut it down the middle and we're just gonna have two pieces of avocado toast. I'm gonna pop these in the toaster. I love using special plates for just aesthetically pleasing reasons. So got that there. Um, and then I'm gonna just cut my avocado open. We're first gonna start with this goat cheese. I got it at Trader Joe's and Running low, but we're just gonna put a few crumbles on each part. Yeah. Next up is this whole milk ricotta cheese that I also got at Trader Joe's. This really just adds a unique, like creamy texture. So I thought this was really cool. This is what they had on this um, avocado toast at Two Hands. It was just so freaking good. So I was like, I need to learn how to make this at home because obviously eating avocado toast in a restaurant is probably way more expensive, but honestly, sometimes worth it. So, all right, so the next step is to lay the avocado down. So I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna try to make this as aesthetically pleasing as possible, but I don't know if that's even possible because this avocado has like some brown spots and it's not the cutest little avocado, but it's gonna be a good one still. Looks like that's as good as it's gonna get. Next, I'm gonna add some tomatoes. Now I'm gonna be using this truffle oil that I got at Williams Sonoma, and I'm just gonna pour it, drizzle it a little bit. Next, I'm gonna be using this balsamic glaze. Last but not least, I'm going to add some pink salt. That completes my recipe for my new favorite avocado toast. It is that time of day where I get freaking sleepy as shit. So, I was going to make matcha, but I don't really feel like doing all the work. And I know that I have... <gasps> We're good. 
that was my leftovers from last night. Um, but I have this thing from Trader Joe's. I do need to check the expiration date. Let's see. Best Buy December. Haha. Ha. Okay. I bought these turmeric shots from Trader Joe's. And you know, let's pop one in. Will it wake me up? Who knows? But it doesn't hurt to try. Maybe just like the taste of it will wake me up. I just need to make the most of this time because obviously I can't create content like on the weekdays really, especially now with daylight savings because now it sets at 5.30ish and usually I'll have like a shoot for photography stuff after I work and get off of work at 3.30. So like at least I do get off work earlier than five because I'm part-time, but I feel like I'm like stalling. <laughs> It tastes like black pepper. I know that there's black pepper in here and it also kind of tastes like carrot juice. So it's not that bad. I need to just like slap myself. But I pretty much finished cleaning my closet. I mean like as much as I wanted to, I put a lot of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Just like random stuff that I have not even touched in so long. I bought these shelves on Amazon and I never ended up using them. So I put that on there. And then um, some just like electronic stuff like this blue ball microphone. I had for voiceovers for YouTube and I literally haven't used it in so long so I'm gonna get rid of that too and a couple of other decor pieces that just like aren't my style anymore so hopefully people want them I'm really just at the point where I just want everything gone like I just want everything out of my sight and just not here and cluttering my place but I mean, it's still cluttered. <laughs> I didn't really like organize anything, but I am getting rid of like a bunch of stuff. So what else am I gonna do next? I always tell myself I need to film TikToks on Fridays because then I'll have them for the whole week, but they just take so much time and energy. And then I also have to post a vlog today and all I need to do is make the thumbnail and post it, but mm, does anything sound very like appealing right now? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Which is so sad because I feel like I'm one of those people where like I'd rather do all of this stuff at nighttime Like I always get so energized at nighttime and like my creative juices start flowing then And I'm just like I need sunlight to do these things. So I can't be feeling sleepy right now I feel like every vlog I'm like All right, i'm so sleepy. I'm just trying to fight the urge to nap so I wanted to show you guys this new jewelry company I came across. It's called Sinophore. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. And everything I'm wearing on my hands are from this company. I want to go through and show you guys everything I got. As you guys know, I've been saying for a really long time that I wanted to slowly build up my bracelet stacks. And I'm so excited to have these three pieces. So this one is super cute. It's like that little link. Oh. Okay, we need to block my face. <laughs> this is kind of like a link bracelet and I love this. I think it's very unique because most of them are circles, but this one's a square. It's called the square toggle clasp chain bracelet. This one right here is beautiful because it has all these little jewels in it. It's a pave bracelet and it is called the skinny stackable pave brace bangle. Yes, bangle. This one is called the hammered stacking bangle and it just has like a little jewel there that all of them go together because they're all obviously gold, but I like that they're all really unique in their own ways. And the best part about them is that they're easy to take on and take off by yourself. I don't have to ask Ryan to help me put them on or anything. Um, so they just kind of like um, unclick. I don't know how to explain it, but when you get it, you'll you'll um, understand. The biggest reason I wanted to get jewelry from this company is because it is long lasting. It says it's resistant to rust and oxidation. And to be completely honest, I'm the type of girl that like likes to leave jewelry on like whenever I can and whenever it doesn't bother me because sometimes when I'm typing on my computer bracelets do kind of bother me so I'll take it off then but if I don't have to I will not take it off so I need something that's long lasting and I like to wear it to the pool or like the beach or something because I think it's like a cute accessory with your swimsuit um and then I got these two rings and this one oh my god it's like a braided ring let me see what it's called for you guys um, this one is called the Modern Bold Braided Ring, and then I got this little guy. It's like a pave kind of bracelet, and it's just called Classic Thin Gold Ring. I'm just so freaking happy with the way it looks on my hand. It just makes anything look so much more elevated and mature, 
and if you guys want 20% off I'll have the links down below if you just click through my link you'll get 20% off I really hope you guys do check out this company Sino4 and take a look at their pieces because I feel like they're all really unique and honestly these pieces are probably more affordable than you've seen in other companies especially with that 20% off discount code I'm going to try to get my ass up and do some things maybe create tiktoks the sky is finally blue um but tonight i'm gonna go over to the domain and meet my friends that i have not seen in forever i'm so excited to see them um we all met through this podcast called the morning toast and the morning toast has so many listeners that they have all these subgroups so there was one for austin people that listened to it and so we went to a winery um meet up like i think this was like last year um, and we all met there, so we're kind of getting together again. It's gonna be super fun I'm actually gonna go there a little bit early. I'm gonna get there at 5 um, Because Mia is gonna help me take my photo for my big hair chop I just like always get a really good photo whenever I do something crazy to my hair I also have looked back on my Instagram analytics and the most saves I've ever gotten were all about my hair like I don't know why but it was all like either I just got it colored or cut or I talked about something about my hair. So apparently my followers are interested in my hair. So I'm excited to take that photo and I'll probably post it tomorrow since it might be too late um, by the time we post it because I want to like enjoy dinner with my friends. Blabbering on. <laughs> I feel like this vlog is going to be literally me just at home just freaking talking to the camera blabbering on. Oh my god, wait, one more thing. I pre-ordered the new iPhone. I'm so excited. I also got like a few accessories because I definitely want to do a video about this and like an unboxing and everything like that. So I got a few accessories like the MagSafe stuff. I ordered the 12 Pro Max, so we will see how I like it. I currently have the 10XS Max or whatever and I um, have shattered the front of it pretty bad so it's gonna be like interesting to get a new phone without any shatter because I'm just like so used to it now um but it's gonna be delivered on the 13th which is next Friday next Friday so just one week and then I get a new iPhone I'm so excited to not have to like ask Ryan to use his wide angle all the time and like to take pictures of me on his phone because now I'll have the good phone <laughs> Maybe that freaking shot worked because your girl got her energy back, thank the lord. And I've been filming a couple of TikToks here and there. And I wanted to share with you guys this hack that I'm going to be posting on my TikTok soon. But I had so many old Lululemon leggings just laying around the house and they were just kind of past the point of selling. And so I decided to take them into Lululemon and get them made into biker shorts. I'm pretty sure it's a thing everywhere, but make sure you call and ask because one of the stores here was like... Oh, we don't hem anything more than five inches but literally the guy in the store like yesterday at the same store said they could so i don't know just definitely ask around to a couple of the lululemon stores to make sure they do it because it's a game changer especially if you just don't touch your lululemon leggings anymore because i didn't i now have like set active and just other Amazon brands that I actually like. This is what they look like on. It's the perfect length. I actually got a five inch length and you can try them on in the store and they can like measure them out to make sure it's what you want. But I'm 5'3", so hopefully that helps y'all. And I'm just so obsessed. I literally got all my old Lou leggings turned into biker shorts um, because they were just laying around and I was like, I don't wear these anymore. So I'm just really happy that I could like repurpose them somehow because they all fit really well. Like they all have these high-waisted things that really suck in my tummy that I really liked. So I'm glad that I could still keep them with me and didn't have to like sell them. Well, honestly, like I said, they just, I don't think they would have sold because there's a lot of pilling over here. So I think they were just a little too old to sell. But let me know if you guys try out this hack, if you do have old Lululemon leggings, because I'm seriously obsessed. I just switched back to the old vlogging setup because I realized I put like a different lens on my other camera. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. This top is from Princess Polly. I literally just opened it up trying to search for a good top to take my hair photo in. So this is the winner. And then this skirt is from Misguided. I wanted to be comfy so I wore my Air Force Ones because I think me and Mia are gonna go just walk around after do a little window shopping. Gonna freshen up my lips. And I'm finally gonna take this freaking hair picture. It's so funny, I literally just posted a little Instagram story of the city. 
and someone messaged me back they were like are we gonna see the hair or not I was like girl you don't even understand the first time I wanted to shoot it was when was I gonna shoot it I think it was like the day after oh it was the day after and I was gonna shoot it before we went to dinner which was yesterday and the sun had already like set pretty much all the way and I was just like let's not rush it you know I want a good picture whatever so then today I was like okay Ryan do you mind going on your lunch break to like an area to take this photo of me so we we're gonna go but then his call ran over <laughs> and like you can't do anything about that you know so then I asked Mia if she could take this photo and she said yes thank god so hopefully it turns out good and I forgot that there's like a restoration hardware around here so it's gonna be like a cute background hopefully the sun's good on it though because i just drove past it and it's like really dark over there but there's still a lot of light so maybe i just need to walk around to the part where it's lit up you know so yeah all this for a damn hair picture but it's gonna be worth it hello hey what's up <laughs> we're at culinary culinary dropout and some apps and some drinks. I'm home now and it was so great seeing them and they're just such great people and I literally need to hang out with them more. Um, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little at home vlog. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, definitely do it now. And if you are subscribed, definitely turn on your post notifications so you know when I post another vlog. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.